I'm kind of a god at Origins first room. All right, guys, it's 90 degrees. I'm sweating balls. We're about to get around 30 on Origins first room. No joke. I hate this intro so much. Treyarch really managed to make the coolest intro to any map ever made and then just ruined it, having to watch it 30 million times. Like, why can you not skip that? So uh, I kind of told this story like a million times before, but I'm kind of a legend at Origins first room. Now, not on BO2. BO2 is actually a whole different beast than playing origins first room on bo3 <laughs> bo3 origins is a cakewalk compared to this Round one done. Got to start uh, buying ammo so we can get... Here, here's number one big difference. Oh my God. Why is the dialogue audio so loud? Okay, and I can't turn off dialogue volume zone until further intel is available yeah thanks dempsey shut the hell up but in black ops 3 right you could like buy buy a few gobble gums and run one round and spend thirty thousand points but in this game you actually have to buy how, how much is it 30 30 times four you have to buy ammo 120 times i think i did that math right i i please tell me i did that math right 30 60 90 okay okay i did it right so i've told this story like 100 times but further evidence of large-scale mechanization of german forces attempts to gather intel being hampered by the infected enemy i'm trying to record a video dempsey back in um 2017 when zwc was going on i decided to choose origins first room as the challenge that i was gonna do right i thought it was gonna be easy so my friend he was doing the no jug challenge on brook which by the way was the easiest challenge out of the entire bunch like i actually feel like i think the guy who won that got to round 59 i don't know if you guys know it is so easy playing Varok on BO3. So I wish I did that challenge because maybe I would have actually won ZD ZWC or something. I don't know. The person who actually won got to, uh, I think, round. I know that for sure the person who got second place was IL Steve IL. And he got to round 59 and he was second place. No joke, the guy who won suicide. And I think he had zero downs. And I was so tight. I actually thought I was gonna win so i was like i got this i'm gonna win so me and i was like man i i, I submitted that run and I wasn't even on the leaderboard. It was the worst thing ever thinking I was going to win ZWC. Now, I wasn't a sore loser, but man, that really got in my feelings that day. I was so sad. Uh, and I, w I remember that night I was in tears. I ain't going to even act like it didn't happen. I was, I was genuinely in tears. Okay, 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 okay. I'm bad at zombies. Please stop, zombies. I don't know how I'm going to get this pack-a-punch gun. I forgot. Ah! No, I have to watch the intro again! I never had sexual intercourse or anything close to it. Two German scientists. Fuck you. Fuck you, Samantha. Oh, oh, yeah. I just took a steamy shit and I think a little came out of my butthole there. My. Oh, it's. I'm just kidding. I'm not that much of a bitch. It smells really bad, though. Let me tell you the strategy for doing BO3 Origins real quick. It was actually really simple, so here's how I did it. I think in the first 10 rounds, you would be able to get the pack-a-punch gun. And so what I would do, I would get the Shiva with my with my nice nice cherry fizz camo, and I'd get stock option. And I would just drill headshots because the zombies will only come from this way, which is so nice. Once you got the pack-a-punch gun, it was like smooth sailing from there. I think you could usually typically go to around 20 without having to train. But the thing is, when it would come down to training i would always die your honor can you really blame a young man that did it for the vine see i'm pre i'm predicting their movement and still missing oh why the hell are you running how am i gonna do this oh penis in the butt gonna make me nut <laughs> they call me bars period for a reason oh i just almost died there Oh no. Oh shit, oh fart. Oh! Oh, oh no. Oh no. Oh no. This is not amusing. I'm so close, but yet so far. Why are they running so fast? I forget Origins is like kind of a slightly hard map sometimes. This is actually terrifying. How many headshots do I need? 
Hey Google, how many headshots do I need to get the Pack-a-Punch gun in Origins Black Ops 2? 115 headshots. Oh! Website attacks of the fanboy Thanks Google! Okay, stop! Once you get Google, stop! Oh. Oh. Okay. Why? Come on. I'm a failure at life. Okay, okay, we're doing it this time. We're doing it this guys. Yes, let's go. Come on, hammer. Oh, it's a Galil. Okay, it's a Galil. <laughs> let's go. Oh man, this is great. I never thought I'd be here. All right, now I have to somehow get 30,000 points spent. I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to keep on buying guns over and over. It would have been nicer to have gotten the hammer because it has just higher base ammo and damage, but whatever. Ooh, round 10. I got a little nut wedgie right now. That's how hyped I am. I just had to pull that crap out. I'm wearing my, um, my lucky underwear today for just for this video. I can't believe I just died like that. Oh, are you kidding me? Oh, I got it. What? I actually got it. Okay. Thank goodness. We finally have it. Hopefully, uh, hopefully we don't die again. We're just champ chilling now. We're just champ chilling. I turned my back for one second and there's like 30 zombies on me. I keep on getting insta kills so much. This is going to be a breeze. I might get to round 70. One minute. 37 seconds later. This is where we start training, boys. This is where my uh, proess comes in. Oh, God. Okay, never mind. Apparently, the game just, wanna, just wants to lag and make me stop moving entirely. I was about to say... I don't even know what... 